Amex is once again offering a 60,000 obvious welcome bonus on its British Airways Premium Plus card. At the same time, this credit card has recently undergone some changes which I definitely would not call positive. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the British Airways Premium Plus in its current state, and then we're going to talk about this very generous welcome bonus, what the eligibility criteria for it are, how to actually access it, because you won't really see it if you just go on the Amex website, how much 60,000 Avias might be worth, and finally, I'm going to share some of my personal strategy around this card, because I used to have it more than two years ago, and I decided to get it once again now. And actually, at the end of the video, I'm going to apply for this card, and we're going to see if I get approved, what kind of credit limit I get and so on. So the British Airways Premium Plus has three main selling points. First of all, it earns you Avios on your everyday spend in the amount of one and a half Avios per every pound. And then this doubles to three Avios per pound on anything that you spend on BA.com, which includes paying for flights on holidays. So if you're someone who travels with BA at least somewhat frequently, this is one of the best credit cards out there in terms of the rewards earning structure. The second selling point of this card is the welcome bonus, which is usually set at 25,000 Avios if you spend 3,000 pounds in your first three months with the card. However, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this has currently been increased to 60,000 avios. And finally, probably the biggest perk of this credit card is the so-called companion voucher. The companion voucher basically gives you a 50% discount on the number of avios that you need to pay to book a reward flight for up to two people. On top of that, it also gives you additional avios availability in British Airways Club World Cabin, which other BA customers don't have access to. So if you're booking a long haul flight in a premium cabin using this voucher, it could be saving you thousands of pounds. And that is probably why some people consider it to be the most valuable credit card perk available in the UK. So at the moment, in order to earn the companion voucher, you need to spend £10,000 on this card in your membership year. However, starting from November 2024, this threshold is going up to £15,000. And that's one of the not so positive changes that I referred to at the start of the video. The other not so positive change that happened recently on this card is the annual fee. So it has been increased from £250 to £300 every year, which may be a little bit hard to stomach for a card that doesn't offer things like lounge access or comprehensive travel insurance or any kind of credits. But again, the main draw of this card for most people is the companion voucher, which if used correctly can save you many times the annual fee. So those were the main benefits of the British Airways Premium Plus. And now it's time to talk about this very generous welcome bonus offer of 60,000 Avios, which could completely change your considerations around this card. And that is actually what happened for me. Me, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. So normally, in order to be eligible for welcome bonus with Amex, you need to not have held any personal American Express credit card for the past 24 months or two years. But the British Airways Premium Plus is actually one of the few exceptions to this rule. And to get a welcome bonus on this card, it is only required that you haven't held any obvious earning Amex credit card in the past two years. So if you have, for example, the Amex Gold card or the Platinum card or the Nectar or the Cashback or any any other card that doesn't earn obvious, then you're completely fine and you should be eligible for the bonus on the British Airways Premium Plus. Now let's assume that you apply for this card, you spend £3,000 in the first three months and you're eligible for the welcome bonus. That means that at the end of the three months, you will have 60,000 obvious from the welcome bonus and then at least another 4.5,000 obvious from having spent the £3,000 which totals to almost 65,000 avios. So how much is 64,500 avios worth? As usual, we're gonna to start with establishing the floor value before talking about some more creative ways to redeem them. So the easiest way to use your avios points is to transfer them to Nectar and then spend those Nectar points at the partner stores, such as Sainsbury's, Argos, eBay, and a few other options. So in this case, it's gonna give you a fixed guaranteed value of 325 pounds. As you can see, even if you use avios in this like least profitable way, you are still going to be getting back more than you paid in annual fee. So essentially, the welcome bonus at the very least pays for the annual fee in the first year. However, in my eyes, for example, using Avios through Nectar is sort of a last resort and I never actually do that because you can get so much more value out of Avios if you actually use them on travel, that is to book flights. The general consensus is that when used on travel, you can realistically achieve a value of £10 per every 1,000 Avios. And I'm happy to give you a few examples of my own recent redemptions using Avios to better illustrate this point. However, before I do that, I really want to stress two things. Firstly, when it comes to using obvious or any other kind of points on travel, there is no guaranteed value. 
That is, the actual value that you get out of your points is going to depend on where you want to go, when you want to go, and whether or not there is availability using points on those dates, and finally, how much an equivalent trip would have cost you if you had used cash. And secondly, when it comes to my own obvious redemptions, I always prioritize going to places I actually want to go to, as opposed to getting the maximum value out of my obvious. That means I don't really look for destinations that have best obvious availability or offer best obvious value and then make a decision based on that. Instead, I already know where I want to go and roughly when I want to go. And if there is obvious availability to that place around the days that I want, then great, I'll use obvious. But otherwise, I'm not really going to change my travel plans beyond maybe shifting the trip dates by a few days or a week. That in turn means that I may not always get the best possible value out of my obvious, but I think I still do pretty well. So the most recent obvious redemption that I made was actually just a few days ago when my partner and I suddenly decided that we want to go to Edinburgh for the uh, May bank holiday. And here I have to say that we live in close proximity to London City Airport where it takes us under 30 minutes door to door to get there using public transport. So that means we strongly preferred flying out of London City to Edinburgh as opposed to taking the train or a flight from another airport. So I started looking for tickets for that trip just a few days before our intended departure date and because of this being last minute and also bank holiday the flights would have cost us at least £240 per person or £480 returned for two people in economy. Instead I booked the same flights using Avios for a little bit over 26,000 Avios and £85 in taxes for both of us. This means that that I used 26,000 avios to save us 395 pounds in cash, giving me almost 15 pounds of value per every 1,000 avios that I spent. So yeah, in my experience, using avios for last minute short haul redemptions tends to give you quite a lot of value. But what about long haul flights? And that is where the companion voucher generated by the British Airways Premium Plus card comes in. So let's assume that you take out this card and you manage to spend £10,000 before November 2024. That means that you will end up with first of all 60,000 avios from the welcome bonus, then another 15,000 avios from having spent uh, £10,000 on this card. And finally, on top of that, you'll also get a companion voucher. And so a combination of 75,000 avios and this companion voucher are enough to actually get you a business class flight return to almost anywhere in North America, Middle East, and a lot of places in Asia. Granted, there will still be a significant cash component to pay to the tune of several hundred pounds, but it will still overall be much cheaper than buying the same tickets using cash. And that is exactly, in my opinion, where the British Airways Premium Plus with its companion voucher shines, long haul redemptions in premium cabins. And that brings us to my personal strategy around the British Airways Premium Plus, as I promised to talk about it before I actually go ahead and apply for this card. To give you a little bit of a backstory, this credit card was actually the very first Amex credit card that I got back in 2019. Back then the annual fee for it was under £200, so I held this card for a year, I triggered the 25,000 obvious bonus, I got the companion voucher, which actually was a lot less powerful back then, and then I essentially closed this card. Anyway, the point I'm making is that now I haven't held an obvious earning Amex credit card for more than two years, meaning that I would be eligible for a welcome bonus on the British Airways Premium Plus if I were to apply for one. And while that was the case, I wasn't really planning to apply for this card until the 60,000 obvious promotion came around, and there are actually two reasons for that. First of all, I already currently hold the Amex Platinum and the Amex Gold cards, and I do get enough value out of them to justify the roughly £800 that I pay in annual fee. Secondly, I currently have an offer on my Amex Amex Platinum card where I get an additional 3 membership reward points per every pound spent, which means essentially that my Platinum card is currently earning me 4 membership reward points per every pound that I spent on any purchases, so needless to say I'm trying to put all of my spend through this card at the moment. And in that light there wasn't much point in adding a third premium credit card to my setup that would require me to spend £3000 to trigger a welcome bonus on it because it would divert the spending from my Platinum card and in exchange I would just get 25,000 avios. And those were my thoughts at the end of March. However, the welcome bonus on the British Airways Premium Plus being increased to 60,000 avios has changed this calculation. Plus, I'm already halfway through the offer on my Platinum card that gives me three additional membership rewards per every pound spent. So I decided to give the British Airways Premium Plus a 
another go, get the 60,000 obvious welcome bonus and also trigger the companion voucher before November 2024. And while that is all good, I now definitely feel like there is no place for the Amis gold card in my portfolio, at least for the time being. So for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be splitting my spend between the Amex Platinum and the British Airways Premium Plus, which means that with the gold card, the only advantage I would be taking of it would be using the delivery credits, but the delivery credit alone is not enough to justify paying the annual fee on this card. So I decided to cancel it at least for now and get the prorated refund. All right, enough talk. Let's go ahead and apply for the British Airways Premium Plus card and let's hope that I do actually get approved for it. So in order to see the 60,000 Avios offer, you need to navigate to BA.com and do note that the offer is only valid until 11th of June, 2024. So let's hit login to apply here. And on this page, you just need to log in into your BA Executive Club account which then takes you to a page where you can see the details of the offer for both the free version of the BA card and the BA Premium Plus. So I'm going to go ahead and click apply now because I have already made up my mind about this card. And here we have a pretty standard form that you need to fill out with your details. Once everything has been completed, they are going to run a credit check and then a few minutes later you will most likely be able to see the decision. In some circumstances I have seen people who haven't been able to get a decision automatically and Amex took a few days to manually process their application. So in my case, it does look like I'm approved, which is great news. And actually, while I was procrastinating posting this video, the card itself came in the mail. Uh, here it is. So now I'm all ready to earn those additional avios. And by the way, if you want to earn more avios from your everyday spending, here's a video where I talk about the best ways to earn additional avios without needing to fly. So do check it out. And if you enjoy the content of this channel, consider subscribing. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.